Hey, Bitcoin and crypto traders checking in on the space. We have big news out with Tesla adding $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin to the balance sheet. Significant catalyst leading us to all-time highs. What other companies can we look to to add to their balance sheet next? And is this price action healthy for Bitcoin? Let's check the charts. Notice that Peter Schiff looks a lot like the most interesting man in the world. So I had to pay some tribute to the man who has been more wrong about Bitcoin than anybody. So looking at Bitcoin, blue sky breakout all-time highs, weekly bull flag confirmed. We knew the weekly bull flag was the most likely scenario as long as 28,700 held. It held. And here we are hitting higher highs. There is one thing to note. This is not as much bullish follow through as I would have anticipated. Look at the hourly time frame. Actually, let's go to the 15 minute. The bullish reaction here, and again, this is massive news. It lasted an hour. One hour of bullish action, and that's it right now. So my question is, where are the people that missed this news at 8 a.m.? Where are the West Coast people that were sleeping, buying into their positions? The shorts got squeezed in the first hour as a part of this move, absolutely. But again, the lack of follow through is a bit surprising here. We did just hit first five minute oversold conditions. So what I have been doing is scaling out my bigger than normal swing position into strength. I sold the majority of it in the 44s and I had many opportunities to do so. Sold 15%, then watched it trade, saw this rejection from a new all time high, sold the rest there to get back to my core swing position. I then added to that core on first five minute oversold, added maybe 60% more than my core back, sold 40% of that. Uh, I entered at 42,750. I exited at 43,200 something, exited 40%. And now my stop is under that low of 42.5. If that low breaks, again, it's a red flag. The strongest moves hit five minute oversold, that's our back burner trade. That's our hourly higher low. And then we see continuation. We had a five minute trend change here with zero follow through. And again, I'm, I'm skeptical of these bulls in the short term. I've got a stop for my added oversold bounce play. Again, no risk under that level. If that level breaks, I'll be back to just my core Bitcoin swing position. In addition to all my no touch positions. And from there, we'll be looking for the potential of a four hour higher low having to form. But again, I just, I want follow through. Give me, give me a bull move, give me a bull flag and continuation because these little spurts with no follow through, not ideal. And again, that's just me with a trader mindset and looking in the short term. If you're looking weeks out, you're looking at the weekly and the daily chart, there's no red flags obviously on this move. So who's next? This reminds me of the MJ sector. The U.S. marijuana sector has a steady drip of bullish news in their IV. It's just this state is legalizing. This state's voting on medical. This change is potentially taking place. It's steadily coming in rather than getting all the news out of the way at once and saying, you know, it's federally legalized and just getting a massive reaction and then that's it. It's a steady drip to keep the bullish narrative going and to keep the uptrend going. I anticipate that's going to happen now and it's already happening. MSTR started it with... Michael Saylor, and now Elon Musk is following suit. And I've been talking about this for a while, either Elon Musk or Tesla adding it, adding Bitcoin. And really it was just a gut feeling. And then recently, Elon's been giving us clues. You know, we knew Elon was either adding himself or adding to the Tesla balance sheet. This is better news in my opinion than rather than if Tesla, or I should say if Musk was just saying, I personally added a position. So this is big news and we will see more and more companies coming out saying that they now have their position established and that's going to be pretty much the theme of 2021 in my opinion. Just more and more companies doing so. The bigger the company, the better the reaction. You know, if Apple or Google or Amazon, any of these names, if they come out and say that they have positions, again, just a steady drip of bullish news. What would be a real major red flag for me? A loss of the hour, of the four hour uptrend from here. If we do not break that 44.9 thousand high and lose the four hour uptrend, I'll say what in the world is going on? Granted, we did run, you know, $9,000 up daily bull flag, but still this news is big. An hour of reaction for the bulls, not enough.
Dominance chart. So spike up on the dominance chart, but honestly, you show me this dominance chart and I say nothing's happening. It's a little bit balanced follow through. So that's notable to me to show that money is not leaving altcoins to go into Bitcoin. Money is going into Bitcoin, but if we look at the total chart for the market cap, it's going up, it's at all time highs. So that tells me money is flowing in to the crypto space and going to Bitcoin on this news. It's not, you know, people aren't selling their altcoins to rush into Bitcoin as a whole. So this daily bounce needs a trend change. This is not significant. We need to top out on this bounce wherever we do and set a higher low and higher high if we're going to set a weekly higher low on this dominance chart. And again, this lower wick is misleading. We did hold this support and it's not a support level, but we did hold 6080 on this pullback. Have to see a daily trend change follow through for the Bitcoin bulls to keep the spotlight. We certainly know the headlines and the narrative and CNBC is going to be all Bitcoin over the next couple of days. But ETH USD hit an all-time high as well. We did not get any follow-through. And actually, it's a double top. No, we broke it. 1%. Again, watch that 12-hour channel because we are rejecting from resistance yet again. This has been the channel that I have been watching for weeks at this point. I did end up playing the ETH oversold bounce yesterday and exited a bit early, not anticipating this news, but it was a nice bounce play. Hourly RSI was in the teens. Bitcoin hit hourly, oversold for the first time after a $9,000 bull move. So it was just nice crushed ETH RSI aligning with back burner Bitcoin hourly oversold conditions. But again, we are in this channel. And as long as we are in this channel, this is the most important time frame and the most clear guide for price action that we have. We're looking for an hourly high or low on ETH, EMA 12 support. If we lose the hourly uptrend, we will look right back into the middle of this 12 hour ascending channel. We could break this channel in either direction whenever we do break it, but it's a nice short term guide for at least rejections of resistance. ETH BTC is pulling back with this Bitcoin move, but again, it's not a dump. We're in a daily uptrend. It's a potential head and shoulders. 362 is support. If we were to hold 362 initially, we would watch for the potential of a lower high. If 362 breaks, weekly consolidation more significantly underway, and Bitcoin dominance should see a nice little bump if that were to happen. Link USD, anything under 27 is just a daily lower high. Little double bottom down here at 2282 and 2290. So if we were to break 2282 and 2290, the bulls would lose their momentum on the daily time frame, and we would be watching for weekly consolidation. And again, we are in a rising wedge type pattern here as well. Certainly worth paying attention to this on the 12 hour time frame. And you could already say that we broke bearish. You could just tweak it a little bit. That's how I would do it. Still just barely holding on. Again, we would have to fail 27 and break 24, make that 2290 and 2282 for the bears to get follow through. And then we zoom out and scout a weekly higher low if that were to take place. If those 12 hour higher lows keep intact, then the bulls keep their short term control. Link BTC has been weak and it sees another leg down here, continuing to show us much weaker than Bitcoin need to set that weekly higher low as soon as possible. Binance bulls have been standing out in a big way recently. Daily time frame exploded to the all time highs. It is a double top here as well 75.50, 75.60 but the uptrends are intact. Anything above 64.18 is a four hour higher low. Bulls obviously would love to break the all time high more convincingly first, but if we do reject from here, double top, and then we look for the four hour higher low compared to 64.18. First hourly oversold conditions. Did we get there? I assume so. The low of this wick, we are probably right down into the low 30s. Back burner trade still alive and well in the sector. And you're going to see most coins, Bitcoin pairings, pulling back today, obviously, with this Bitcoin news. ADA USD, wow, how's that for volatility? That just shows a lack of liquidity on Binance. That's probably just because I'm using the US dollar pairing. Much less significant with the liquidity involved of the tether chart. 
So all-time highs here as well. Four-hour uptrend is our guide. Little short-term support of 648. If 648 is lost, we lose the four-hour EMA 12 for the first time in a week, and we zoom out and scout for daily consolidation to look for a higher low, and we watch for back burner first hourly oversold conditions if we lose the four-hour higher lows. The Bitcoin pairing is seeing a pullback today as well, but little bear follow through. So staying strong on the Bitcoin pairing for ADA. Doge. So resistance after a new high. Again, the 12 hour time frame was most clear the last video that we did. We got a bull break, inside bar, inside bar, inside bar, bull break. You can use technical analysis and trade this coin to make money as long as you are good and disciplined with your trading. Charcal Lori has shared that this is her most profitable coin of 2021. And she is certainly using technical analysis. So I am looking at anything above. I'm just watching this 12 hour EMA 12 as a nice visual guide that keeps holding. As far as a shorter term time frame, we got our high of 88, our low of 62, lower high of 86.6. And now we'll watch for a higher low anything above 62. You could also be viewing this on the two hour time frame, condense it down. Eh. So that level of 68 does matter to me. Bulls ideally want to hold that. So that's the most important short term support for me is 68. Potential for an hourly equilibrium with how this is currently shaping up. So Bitcoin, again, the, the, the lack of follow through is notable. First five minute oversold conditions is not seeing the clearly established hourly higher low that bulls would like to see. If we break the low of 42.5, we look to the hourly EMA 12 support at 42,000 from here. Previous resistance now looking to act as support, that nice round psychological number. But again, it's an hour of bull follow through and it's a great green day and all time highs are great, but I'm going to be skeptical of bulls if that's it. To not be able to set an hourly higher low and see continuation shows a mad rush to get in and then supply of shares and shorts jumping back in are outweighing bulls buying consolidation. Bulls can still save it. Hold 42.5 and break 43.4 and all will be forgiven in the short term. So congrats to the bulls. Great way to start the week. S&P 500 continues all-time highs. Asset bulls everywhere. Strong still. And we'll see how long the Bitcoin bulls can hold this strength. Have a good rest of your day. Do good things and we'll see you next time.